So once you go in the offer, there's a few pieces around that for sure, but I, just, I actually wanna go hit this second part here real fast, okay? Um, how can I make my offer creation simple? Now, this will help, I think, quite a bit. The only issue that I've had in the past, uh, anyone ever heard of the FAT event, the Funnel Hackathon event? Yes. F-H-A-T? <laughs> the Funnel Hackathon event came out of that first uh, Two Comic Cup X event that I, uh, I started running for Russell. When he couldn't get on stage, I would run it. It was a three-day event. Um, Lottie asked me, how, how do you have so much energy? It's a practice thing. Two days is nothing compared to the three, <laughs> okay? And uh, it was a three-day event, and they would spend 18 to 25 grand to be in the room for three days. And uh, what we did was we taught them how to go create really cool offers. And we taught them how to create really neat uh, you know, webinars and such. And the only issue people had is that when we started going through the offer, and we said, here's your main offer, and then you're going to create this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and you're gonna give away that one as a fast action bonus. What do you think a lot of people said about that? Holy crap, I gotta go create more products? Anyone thought that? I totally, right? I'm like, oh yeah, right? And so I was like, well, there's gotta be other ways of creating offers. And so I started digging. And I got big eyes so I can see a lot, and I started seeing some really cool patterns. <laughs> So how can I create offer, create, how can I make offer creation more simple? Um, a few months ago, probably uh, six months ago, I was uh, at a Jeff Walker event. I wanted to see what he was doing. And uh, I was at a Jeff Walker event and Jeff Walker stands up and he's like, he's like, turn around and say hi to the partner behind you and get a chance to meet them real quick. And I always kind of hate that a little bit. I'm a little bit of an introvert, you know, one on one. So I was like, oh, like, here's my headphones, you know. But the guy who turns around happened to be Dan Kennedy's ghostwriter. What? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> so we chatted for a while and he's like, you actually know what he's doing on there. I was like, yeah, totally. He's like, you seen this, you seen this? We became friends and we've been chatting. And he was the head copywriter of Dan Kennedy's GKIC stuff for a really long time and wrote all the sales copy. We've become friends. And he and I, uh, we've been chatting quite a bit. And is he here? I know he was thinking about coming. Jack? No? All right. <laughs> well, that's awkward. <laughs> I don't know how to overcome that one. <laughs> Chop that from the replay, yeah? <laughs> Just put in a hand that pops up and then... <laughs> but this is his book, okay? This is his book, and he and I have been chatting. It's been really, really fun. Um, I actually had him on a summit that you guys will see me pop out here in the fall. And this is it. And in the book, he said, offer equals core product plus value add. And I was like, that is way more simple of a formula for an offer then product, 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 product. Okay, that's way easier. And so I took that and I started to run with it. And I realized like, okay, let's look at the old ways that we've been doing and creating these offers. I'm gonna take a product and I'm gonna turn it into an offer. Okay, and, and I'm gonna share some more examples of why that's important here in a moment. But one of the easiest ways to do it, um, or I say a way that's very solid, is to do it the way Expert Secrets teaches. Core product plus product, 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 product. What are the things you get with a ClickFunnels account when you buy it through Funnel Hacks? Yeah, yeah, you get the six months enterprise account to ClickFunnels. You get six weeks Funnel Hacks masterclass, okay? Then we give instant traffic hacks. Why would we give that? We know one of their main concerns will be traffic, right? Well, don't worry about it. We got this cool thing called instant traffic hacks that will solve that problem for you, which is awesome. We have this thing called Inception Secrets. I would give that. It's actually about um, copy and, and writing. Um, uh, anyway, yeah. So it's about the copy. It's a, oh, the copy and paste sales scripts for your funnel, right? The text's a little small there. Sorry if you can't read it there. <laughs> um, then down at the very bottom, we gave them a soap opera Seinfeld series. It's specifically the email stuff. So not necessarily a sales letter, but it's all about the email. And this solves a lot of follow problems, but also had to create a lot of products around it. Okay, it's a very solid way to do an offer. I'm not saying don't do it. Just it takes a little bit extra time, right? Okay, another way to create an offer though, if we have offer equals core product plus value add, how can we add value without creating anything else? The fake book story? How many of you guys want that book before I even tell you you're gonna get the audiobook? You're gonna get the checklist, right? You're gonna get the, the, the VIP hangout with the author and I in six months. 
is because there's so much value created by the story. By the time I hold up the book, you're like, shoot, I need that book, right? And then there's an offer on top of it. Woo, wow, right? And then you're like, man, I have to have that. Does that make sense? Say, and I know we've gone through that quite a bit in the last, the last session with the, the sales message. This is one of the other easiest ways to do it, though. This is Claude Hopkins. Claude Hopkins, um, again, what, he, he is uh, the original scheme man. Um, offers used to be called schemes about 200 years ago. And uh, he, in that time, was paid the equivalent of today's money, like a million and a half dollars, to come in and help companies create their scheme or their offer. Scheme now has kind of a negative connotation. Okay, but back then, it was a really cool thing. They called them scheme men. Okay, and you hired a scheme man. I hired a scheme man, and I'm going to go in, and he's going to help me create my offer. Well, Claude Hopkins was like the highest paid guy back in that time um, around this. One of my favorite quotes from him. Okay, now watch how this creates value around the offer without creating another product. Two men came to me, each offering me a horse. Both made equal claims. They were good horses, gentle and kind. A child could drive them. One man said, try the horse for a week. If my claims are not true, come back for your money. The other man said, try the horse for a week. But then he added, come and pay me then. I naturally bought the second man's horse. Ooh. Why naturally? Less pain right away. A lot less risk on their side. It's value up front. So it's this exact same product, a horse that was pretty much the exact same. On one, you're going to pay up front and have a seven-day refund period. On the other, you're going to have a seven-day trial period and then pay at the end. It's the puppy dog clothes, right? I just take it home, see if you want it. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make sense? Big deal here, okay? Uh, one of my favorite examples of this is actually Tim Ferriss. I'm a huge Tim Ferriss geek. Um, this is called the lose-win guarantee. And, and just because this last slide right here um, talks about, um, I'm trying to illustrate that creating a guarantee is a value add to the core offer, to the core product. The guarantee is part of that. Okay, so this is one of my favorite examples. How many of you guys have read the four-hour work week? Was that not like the gateway drug into the internet marketing world? <laughs> it totally was for me. I listened to it multiple times while I was doing door-to-door -door sales. And I was listening to him, and, uh, and I wanted to recruit a whole bunch of people. And so, you know, as a sales team under me. And so I knew from direct response marketing numbers that if I was to put out 100 flyers, I'm likely to get a 1% to 2% response rate. So because of that, I'd hand out like 100 flyers a day. And I'd get four, five, six, seven people every week coming to our meeting, recruit them, put them under me, and then I'd go do it again. So this book is the one I listened to while I was doing that and walking around dorms handing out flyers and such. Anyway, um, in the book, he gives an example about his product called um, Brain Quicken, um, or Body Quick, also known as Brain Quicken. His sales were not very good. And he asked himself, how can I make my offer better? So what Tim did was he changed the guarantee. Nothing else. Didn't change the product, didn't change much around the offer, or what he was shooting over to him. He created a full-out offer just with a guarantee. And he said, Instead of a 30-day guarantee, I'm going to give you a 60-day plus a 100%, 110% guarantee that will work in the first 60 minutes of the first dose. Meaning, if you do not like this, not only do you have 60 days to use this, but what you'll get is 110, I will literally give you 10% more. I will pay you 10% out of my own pocket if it's not the best thing that you've ever experienced. Seems kind of crazy, right? It's called a lose-win guarantee. What happened was, he put a 60-day 60 60-day 110% money-back guarantee, and hardly anybody abused it. He expected people to abuse it. Some people did, but he found out that most people are generally honest, which is true. Most people are generally good and honest. But because of the guarantee, sales exploded, and he got a 300% increase in sales in 30 days, okay? And went from a 12 to 15% refund rate down to a 3%. Okay, the, yeah, what's nuts about this is that a strong guarantee usually increases sales because it gets rid of people's objections. For you to stand out and say a lose-win guarantee, there's so much confidence that that exudes that it usually just decimates false beliefs. Any remaining thing that people have, like, well, this guy's like so, he's actually gonna pay me 10% 
of what I paid if it's not the best thing ever. And I have 60 days to use it. Okay, there's a lot of stories around this. He actually gave another story in the book. Um, you guys remember the, the sailor t-shirt, so the sailor t-shirt example in there, the striped t-shirt. Anyway, um, the, it was the same kind of thing where he had the guy go write something where it was like, um, if this is not the softest t-shirt you've ever worn in your life, send it back for a 200% uh, money back guarantee. It's actually going to pay him a whole shirt's worth. And because of that, didn't change any other product, didn't go add anything else, didn't need to go create tons of other stuff, which is fine to do. It's actually very stable to do that. But just with that one mechanism alone, his sales exploded. Okay. So what I recommend is just do all three. <laughs> okay. Just do all of them. Take your core thing, add in the product, product, product. This is one of the reasons why the perfect webinar script works so well, because it does all those. Here's how to tell the story. We're going to take the Epiphany Bridge script. We're going to tackle and smack all the false beliefs. And then we're also going to give a guarantee on there that is a lose-win guarantee. Very, very hard to not make money. <laughs> okay. Is that helpful to see? Oink. Yeah. Oink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oink. <laughs> okay.